Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to flash Cyanogen mod onto your Xiaomi Mi 3. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you back up all your apps and data because we will have to perform a factory wipe in order to get uh, Cyanogen mod onto your Mi 3. Though I'm currently running Mi UI V6 on my Mi 3, it doesn't matter if you're on V5 or V6. So that being said, the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description, click on link 1. That would take you to this page. Download the recovery file and save it onto your internal storage. Clicking on link 2 will take you to this page. So from here you can download the Cyanogen mod file and again save it. And link 3 will take you to this page. From here you'd have to download gapps, download the micro variant because anything bigger you'd have issues. You can, you can get all Google apps once you boot back into Cyanogen mod you can install them. But for now, just download the micro. So once you've downloaded all three files and you have it on your internal storage, now uh, just go to the updater app. And if it's V5, hit the menu key. If it's V6, just hit on more. Select update package. Scroll down and select the recovery file, the one you down downloaded from link one, select it. Guys, even if you do have a custom recovery, I would suggest uh, following this and flashing this recovery again. Uh, because you might run into issues uh, if you have an older older version of clockwork mod so this link would take you to the latest version so uh, make sure you just hit update and update again all right guys once it says update complete hit reboot to finish now the me 3 will boot back up and once you're back go to the updater app again And this time select reboot to recovery mode all right if you don't want to do this you can turn off your phone and then hold a uh, power and up volume till you see the me logo and let the keys go that would also get you into uh, the recovery menu that's just an alternate way of getting into recovery so anyway let's wait for clockwork mod to boot up so once you 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 get to the recovery menu select system one and now go ahead select wipe data factory reset yes so guys we're done next up you can use the volume keys to navigate and power keys to select or you can use the virtual keys down below so select wipe cache partition yes wipe cache all right once that's done Go into um, mounts and storage and select format slash system and hit yes format. Once done, go back, select install zip, choose zip from SD card, I'm sorry, select zero slash and navigate to Cyanogen mod and hit OK. Hit yes install. So this would take about a minute to complete. I'll be back once it's done. All right, now choose zip from SD card again, zero slash, and select the GApps file that we downloaded from link three. Yes, install. And now go back and select wipe data slash factory reset again. Guys, this is not mentioned in the original thread, but uh, if I if I skip this, if I skip the second factory wipe, I ended up getting some force closes so there's nothing you're gonna lose by wiping it so just give it another wipe before you reboot so once that's done I've quickly head on over to advanced and uh, select active system system 1 change that go back and, and select reboot system now Guys, enabling true dual boot between Cyanogen mod and uh, MIUI v6 has issues. That's the reason why I haven't really talked about it in this video. So if that changes, if uh, developers find a way to do, uh, to have both uh, MIUI v6 and Cyanogen mod on the same phone, I'd come out and do a video on it. So till then, <coughs> uh, I'm not really uh, running dual boot on my Mi 3. So we're up, guys. Let me quickly run through setup. And I'm going to go with the trebuchet launcher. For now, I'll change it later. So, so 
So there you go, camera works right now. I'm going into settings. About phone. Sun is mod. Android 4.4.4, KitKat. <clears throat> um, what else? Okay. We've got the theme engine, so theme packs. So yeah, that works as well. It's mostly functional. If you do run into any bugs, make sure you uh, check out the thread from link to in the download section in the description. So with that, we get to the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, stay subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.